Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. Go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 15% off. Hey Grains, and welcome to another unboxing of viral TikTok mystery boxes. This time, we're going to be exploring undelivered or lost mail. For those of you who don't know, apparently, in the US, I don't know if it's a thing in here in Canada, but I haven't seen it yet. If they're undelivered or lost in the transit kind of mail, what they do is they put it in a kind of warehouse and you can go and pick some up for anywhere between five and ten ish dollars I believe and you have no idea what you can get it can be anything as dumb as screws and nuts and bolts for a piece of furniture and the most recently that I've seen is someone unpack a whole iPad so kind of exciting but at the same time could be kind of disappointing and this TikTok trend came absolutely out of nowhere and everyone is so obsessed with it even now more than ever so there was this one TikTok account I'm trying to remember the names <laughs> I think it's fun delivered and every few weeks they upload their own by the way not sponsored nor affiliated so they let you know when they're gonna update and I've tried so many times to get their mega box a mega pint <laughs> yeah but it keeps being sold out within the first two minutes so right now we have the variety box which is a pretty decent size and a pretty decent hef hef heftiness heftiness to it, I guess. So I'm really excited what we're gonna get. Let me know in the comment section below if you think we're gonna get anything that's worth our cash because we paid $79.99 or if the items on the inside will go. In the trace. I know that one of you grains said that you picked up one of these undelivered mails and it ended up being my craft kit. Say what? <laughs> What are the odds of one of the grains picking up a craft kit? If someone else had picked it up, they probably wouldn't have known what it is. So I'm really happy that you were able to get it. And for the grain who didn't get it, got it the second time because it was re-delivered re re again. So let me know if you think we're going to get any uh, anything good. It's pretty heavy. So we should be getting anywhere between six and seven. By the way, since we don't have these in Canada, this was generously sent to me by my good friend Ace of Clay, super talented sculptor. If you love sculpting, crafting, and monsters, make sure you check him out. I will leave his link down below. Where did this come from? Aha, that means you need to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there. legitimately have no idea what to expect in here because these are random packages. They're not the large ones. I'm guessing people think the larger the better, but we all know on this channel, bigger is not always better. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That's what she said. So I'm, I'm really, I'm nervous, anxious, curious, and a little bit of everything. It could be clothing, it could be anything. Let's see if there's any note. Oh, oh. So they said we should be getting, I think, anywhere between six and seven. Oh, wow. Oh, that is, that's gotta be a backpack. Okay, let's, let's see how many items we get. Here's one. Oh gosh, these feel like clothing. Here's two. Oh, this is cute. Three, pink. Oh, we get four. And this one over here. Five, six. Everything is soft so far, so I don't think we're gonna be getting any electronics. How many did I count? Six, seven, they all feel like clothes. And we have an eight, one. Oh wow, that is, that is dusty. That is very dusty. Let's, let's check some of the random dates. What date are you from? I don't see a date. How about no date? You, and no, 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 oh wait, oh, no, no date. You know what, let's start with the little ones and make our way to the bigger ones. So we'll, we'll, let me, let, I am, so, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> There's so many! Okay, so I think we got eight in total. Yeah, eight. So I'm gonna take everything out. Let's move this over here. And let's start with the potential ones that are going to be absolute disappointments. All right, so I went ahead and put five of the smallest ones. Let's start with the two tiny ones. And these ones look very similar to the ones I buy on AliExpress or from Wish. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's a random piece of something. I feel like we should be praying to the gods of Evermore for this. Let's, let's start the video off with this. Dear unpacking gods of Evermore, please protect me from craps, loose pieces, and awkward things. But also, give me cool stuff. All right, now, now that we've done the doing, let's open our first mystery bag. And, oh, do I, should I look inside? What if I don't want to touch it? What if it's a thing I don't want to touch? Oh gosh, I'm scared. I'm gonna let it drop. Oh, oh, I knew it. 
Oh, I knew it. I knew it. So what we have here are basically items from like AliExpress or Wish or something like that. Let's take it out. This is an item, a bracelet. It says good luck. And on the other side, it says good luck again. And then we have a, a bead. Yeah, that's just a bead. By the way, if any of you grains know what any of this is supposed to represent or mean, let me know because this is the most plainest bead bracelet anyone could have bought. Is this real? It can't be real silver though. It looks too cheap. I don't see anything special about this. It just says good luck. I guess it's a good luck charm. Maybe it was blessed by the gods. <laughs> so there we go, first thing. Next, seems to be something similar. It says made with love. Then we have something over here. And then another useless bead. And then we have the fleur de lis. This little bead thing is called a fleur de lis, which is very, I think it's in our Quebec flag, if I'm not mistaken. I hope it's the same thing or Quebecers will act me. Don't, don't fight me. But yeah, I don't, I don't see the appeal of these bracelets. If any of you grains know what it is. Oh, and the lights went out. What the heck? That was, that was very weird. I just told these bracelets off and now my lights went out. I'm gonna have to fix you. And then a pair of earrings, which I highly doubt are real pearl because the backings are made of plastic. So this is, this is garbage. <laughs> this is garbage. Good to know where my money went. Okay, we actually have a hint of where this came from. We see something called Anan Jerry. So I went ahead and put that in into Google and sure enough, AliExpress popped up. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and click on all items, see the closest thing we can find to our good luck bracelet, and see how much this person actually paid for this. Because I'm curious about, about the value here. <laughs> We're seeing a lot of necklaces. Okay. Nothing, nothing. It's like $3, $6, $3. Hmm. Eventually. All right, so this is not good news for us, because I went ahead and added from most expensive to least expensive, and it looks like every Everything, which is the most expensive, which is their bags. Apparently their bags are more expensive than their jewelry. Okay. So if we're going to look at a bracelet, we're looking at about $13 for a full set. So this is um, definitely poop. I have to say we're starting off with garbage. So we might as well make sure that the salt shaker is equipped with garbage, which means we're going to have to change its color like so. That's that's what we're doing now. This, I feel, is going to be exactly more or less the same idea because it is a, an AliExpress type packaging, I think. What is that? Okay, so let's get a peek. It looks like more jewelry stuff. Okay. It makes scrunchy noises. That's new, so that's good for us. It's probably just plastic. The, this is very nice, though. It's very velvety. Oh, I like that. It's so soft on my face. Oh yeah, it's so What? And there's no actual brand name on either side of this. Let's pull something out. What are you? <gasps> oh no, Molly. Oh no, I have someone's. Oh no, I have customized name. <laughs> okay, these look like necklaces. So I think they're necklaces with people's names on it. Holy shrimp. Let's get this first one. So here's the necklace. Pretty, pretty standard necklace. And this one here says, Wrinkle. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't tell me. Did I just get. Oh no. Did I just get diamonds made from a pet's ashes? I think this is what it is. For those of you who don't know, there are services that take the remnants of your loved ones and they turn them into diamonds or jewelry or anything like that. I've seen everything from diamonds to resin memorabilia. So, yep, that's 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 our second package. I knew I knew something like that would happen. So we have a really pretty diamond here that is from Molly. I'm guessing nickname is Sprinkle. Oh no. Oh gosh. So we have one diamond here. I'm guessing they're all from Molly. Oh no. No, they're all different names. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> If this actually belongs to someone, let me know. I'll send them to you. Holy shrimp. No. We have Bryson. Oh gosh. These are different dates. Are these pets? Are these people? Oh no. Oh no. No way. Bryson, you're very pretty though. Are they different colors? Yeah, they're different colors. Oh my gosh. So we have this. 
This this has gone dark very quickly. Oh my gosh. These are really pretty keepsakes though. These are really pretty keepsakes. So I'm not going to look at the, you know what? I'm going to blur the third one. I'm just going to double check what the name is. And yeah, there's, there's another one here. And I'm not going to say what the name is because if this belongs to you, if all three of these belong to you, send a message, send an email, and we will get these to you as soon as possible. But you have to tell me what's the name on the third one. That's it. I'm not I'm not gonna say more than that. They made really pretty diamonds though. Oh my god. Why am I, I have goosebumps? Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. Next small package. Now we're getting into the medium territory. I do want to see what's in the pink one. This is kind of soft. I feel like it could be either a t-shirt or maybe a bag. I'm just making guesses but we'll find out how good my guessing game is. I get a lot of packages. So, okay, that is soft. Is that a t-shirt? That is t-shirt? T-shirt? Oh my gosh, come on. Okay, okay it's stuck. Uh, oh, okay, it's Lemmy. <laughs> Premium denim, Lemmy. Nothing feels nothing feels like Lemmy. Give you the best, and then Lemmy give you the best. It, I think it's from AliExpress. What is that? Is that a jacket? That is not denim. What is this? What are you? Is that what the shrimp? What the heck? What are you? I don't know what this is. Okay. So why is it? Hang on, I'm holding it in all the wrong places. So it's a shirt, I think. And then it has like a neck thing. Like, do you tie this like this? Like, is it like an apron shirt situation? I don't know. Let's, let's, let's Google this. Lemmy, 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 oh, <laughs> Lemmy. I keep wanting to call it Emily. Lem, Lemmy clothing. I think I found it and I think this is probably a jackpot because it's a high-end brand name by Yoji Yamamoto and if we look at this brand we can see that it loves all these tie looking things and the shirt that I just showed you seems to have these like tie things and it's called Lemmy Feu F-E-U I think and their items are like four to seven to eight hundred dollars a piece that's pretty expensive. I don't know if this is a fake. It could be a fake. However, it seems to follow the same trend of the uh, Lemmy tying thing. I have yet to find ours. Maybe it's out of stock because it's out of season. I would never wear this though. They're ugly. <laughs> so yeah, we might potentially have something worth a few hundred bucks. And it's a really tiny medium. I mean, this is a medium and it's very little. So here's the sleeve. Can't I can't show you grades. I'm just gonna you'll you'll see it better as I put it on there. This could potentially be a few hundred bucks. I don't want it. I'm not gonna wear it, but yeah, interesting. All right, we've done enough of those weird things. Let's go ahead with pink, because usually it could I feel like this might be an Etsy seller or something like that, because they put effort in their packaging, probably, most likely, I hope. Where do we open from? All right, let's open from up here. I just don't want to destroy anything. Probably I will. Oh. Oh, that feels hard. Get your minds out of the gutter. Okay, what do we have? Oh, oh, what's that? What are these slippers? Oh no, oh, these are shoes. <laughs> oh goodness, oh my God. What size are they? <laughs> oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. We have, oh, I hate these. These hurt so much. So we have some, didn't expect ASMR, did you? So we have some slippers that have zero support whatsoever. There's a little bit of cushion, a little bit of anti-slip, but yeah. What size are you? It's not written anywhere. So you're getting some, some slippers. <laughs> slippers we're getting. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Let me see if I fit in them. I got some big toes and big feet. Do I even fit? No, I don't fit. So for those of you wondering, this is under a size nine. Yes, I have big feet. Yes, I know what they say about big feet. It means you have a big heart. <laughs> this is trash. This is garbage. I think that's the whole point of these boxes, right? Is you don't know what you're gonna get. I have to say I had the highest hope on the pink packaging, but we are back with AliExpress type packs. So this is probably going to be something cheap. Again, is my guess. 
Oh gosh. Oh, that's colorful. That's that's very colorful. What is sequins? <laughs> sequins? Or is that like clothing? So we have a lot of clustered sequins. This makes me think that this might be a skirt or a shirt of some kind. Might be a clothing, maybe for some kind of festivities. I do not. Oh, is that a bag? All right, so let's pull you out. Oh, 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 what the, what the, what, what is this? What, is this a scarf? Is this a scarf? Can someone explain this to me? <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It is pretty though, but I genuinely have no idea. It comes with a clasp. Where do you hook it from? You just like, Feel, I think it would be uncomfortable. Like, is this, am I, am I doing it right? Is this how we go? Kind of like it. <laughs> oh, it feels comfortable, but it's definitely not warm. What do I do with this though? There's a chain with a clasp and I have no idea what this is used for. I re I'm really digging this though. It's very colorful, but it's not warm. Wait, it's not even showing. There you go. There you go. I have no idea what this is for. I'm sure the comment section are probably furiously typing, Hey Jackie! You must understand, what you are using is definitely not for what you are using it for. Kinda wanna keep it, but I feel like I might have, I might have an allergic reaction. I'm kinda, if you're wondering what I'm doing looking down, I'm kinda looking at myself. I'm like, this is not too bad, but yeah. This is so random. There's no brand name, so it's definitely an AliExpress purchase. Is it pretty? Absolutely. Am I gonna use it? Absolutely not. Now we're moving into the bigger bags territory. I've basically lost hope at this point. It's all AliExpress garbage. And you know what? Probably because this was the least expensive of the batch. I think the most expensive was $100, but again, it was sold out within a matter of minutes. Despite the fact that I had it in my cart, checked out, and then it said, one or more items in your cart have disappeared. I'm like, no, no. So if this was ever something you were interested in, it flies. Oh, another item of clothing. So I feel like for the cheaper one, they just select soft stuff. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> These packages. They break my heart. They make me cry. All I get is garbage. I pay 80 monies plus shipping. It's 40, 40 monies. I pay this much and it's all trash. But it's not the vendor's fault. However, the vendor does have some control over putting solid items versus soft items, and they do select soft items. There's not a single solid item in here. So I have to say shame on you, vendor, for not at least putting one hard item. At least you could have done that. Let's see what article of clothing this is. Oh, that's, a, that's a dress. That's a dress. Is it even pretty? I think this is from like the Cheyenne, Cheyenne brand. It's just a blue dress. Yeah, very airy, very see-through. I wouldn't recommend wearing it because you can see through it. It's just plain blue. wondering I went on Sheen I know many of you have been trying to correct me but I'm figuring that most of these packages are probably from there this is the closest I could find to this design which had buttons all the way down a little wrap now I can't wear these dresses because the sizes are much smaller and I don't like dresses but basically this is what it looks like so you can see that it has buttons all the way up it has a little wrap around and it is a half sleeve and it looks like it's about $35 Canadian so when it comes to getting our value yes we are but you're also getting a bunch of junk that you're potentially not using let's let's go in for the next one now we're getting into large bag territory this is a large bag i'm guessing this is probably a handbag i think because it does feel a bit like a handbag vendor please include at least one solid item that would be great i'm not asking for much i know i had to get the little one but that's not my fault i didn't want to what is that are these shoes these look like shoes Oh my god, what are you? I thought this was a bag, but it looks like a bunch of shoes. I have, okay, definitely shoes because we're getting the shoe pusher. And it says Daniel Wafer. Is this a brand name that I should be aware of? I don't know anything. Oh, they're gonna be work shoe loafers. Oh, I could beat someone with these. What? Not, 
Not that I will, but I could if I wanted to. Bags are an off-white color, which is already weird. And then, oh, okay. Oh, handmade? Let's bring you grains closer. So this is a size 42, which means that it is this size in US size. And it says Fata Amana, so I'm guessing handmade. And it says, wow, 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 wow. The details on this shoe are very nice. I'm gonna have to check, is this an actual brand? Brand? Is this real leather? Let's check the other one. Hopefully it is the matching shoe, because with these things you never know. Holy shrimp, look at you. So we have a set of Bootsy type shoes. It's a little elastic over here, stuffed. With nothing, more, more stuff. Oh, this looks like a very uncomfortable shoe. Oh, with a shoe insert. Oh, that came up. Oh no. <laughs> so let's hang on. Let's keep looking because I'm, I'm typing in Daniel Wafer and it's giving me Amazon posts and AliExpress posts and Alibaba posts. But is there a real seller? A few minutes later. So I did find the official shop and it is from AliExpress. It's a $90 shoe. So we have the buckle version, it seems. It's, it's about the same thing. It really is the same thing. I don't know if it's a real brand. Is there a way to tell? I mean, the inside says the same thing, handmade, and it, it does say genuine leather. So I don't feel good about that. And yeah, here you could see the shoe. If we swipe, we do you see the exact same shoe at $90. So someone really loved these shoes. You can get them buckled or, oh no, they, all, they both have buckles. Okay, so you have one buckle on each side. That's the exact shoe. Now I don't know if that's a brand that you can get elsewhere for another price, but yeah, we have shoes. Oh, I hate this box. I should probably try again, huh? I might, I might get a second box and see what kind of luck I have. They always make it seem more fun on TikTok. Like, oh my God, look what I got. I got the cool thing. Nobody shows you this garbage. Now we have the biggest package of all. Again, these are AliExpress items. I have to say that from this vendor, I'm gonna say that it's a no for me. I might try again, we'll see where this goes. But they are purposely choosing and they know what AliExpress packages look like so that you can get the cheapest items that are available. I'm guessing they probably keep the boxes for themselves and hope that they get something bigger and better. So if you are in the US, let me know if you've gone to pick your own because if you're in the US, you can pick your own. But for this, I'm letting someone else pick it for me because I don't have a choice. So let's see what other garbage they may have sent. I might, I might give them a second try. I might, but otherwise, otherwise nay. Nay on the experience. Is that a hat? Did we just get a hat? We got, we got a dress, shoes, and is, is you a hat? What is this? It's like I'm shopping for my grandparents. Hang on, I think it's a hat. Three hats. So we have we have three hats. Or is that a three-tiered hat? What the heck? This is one hat. Oh no 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 no. Okay. Three hats. I hate this! We have a black hat, another black hat, for the record, a third black hat, and then we have a beige hat. I'm gonna give this experience a excitement level eight, experience level a two on 10. Whether you like to listen to music while you're doing any kind of arts or crafts, or listening to an audiobook to get your imagination going, an amazing pair of earbuds is non-negligible. Which is why I'd like to talk about today's sponsor, Raycon. And Raycon's everyday earbuds are no compromise to quality at starting about half the price of other premium brands out there. Not only that, but they look, feel, and sound better than ever. Their gel tips are the perfect in ear fit. I mean, look, they don't come out. No dangly danglies. I'm shaking my head and they just don't want to come out. And it's no wonder with eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life that they have over 49,000 five-star reviews. But that is not all. You also get your sound your way with three sound profiles that you can just cycle through by pressing the left side for three seconds. Whether that's pure sound, balanced sound, or even bass. 
So what are you waiting for? Check my link down below or go to buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter to get 15% off your Raycon purchase. That's buyraycon.com forward slash nerdycrafter for 15% off your Raycon purchase. Thank you Raycon for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. Let me know in the comment section below if you would actually buy any of these surprise boxes. I was actually pretty excited, but the fact that they only put soft packages knowingly which ones are from AliExpress because they can tell, they see the addresses before, they actually blur them out. I'm gonna have to say that it's it's kind of scammy. You know what you're doing. Stop it, please. Stop it. If you want to watch more mystery boxes, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video I did with my sister Sika, because many of you have been asking about her, make sure you check over here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.